Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do something a little different. I have done a lot of get to know me um, tags, questionnaires, all that stuff on here already. But what I haven't really done is one on being a mom. And I think that as much as I've kind of stated I don't really plan to incorporate him on my channel as far as like being filmed. Um, strictly because he's five and I don't think that I feel that to be on the internet, especially in this way, it should be your choice and he does not have the capacity to understand what that means um, on this kind of scale. And so with that said, that's why I don't really include him much, but he's obviously a huge part of my life. And so I found a mommy tag <laughs> and I thought that would be fun to do and give you a little bit of background to, again, it's also a really big part of my life because since he's been born, which again, he's five, so it's been over five years, I have been a stay at home mom. And, you know, that's not something I have ever done or not, you know, worked. And it's, it's, it's a big, it's changed who I am a lot. So, I don't know. I just thought it would be fun to do this type of questionnaire. Kind of take away from the makeup. Kind of take away from, you know, um, what I typically do here. And this is more real. You know what I mean? Like, it's just more of what I do, who I am, what I've found out with being a mom, and what I'm still learning. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, anyway, thought it'd be fun. So, number one, are you a stay-at-home mom or a working mom? And like I just said, I am a stay-at-home mom. And, you know, I have found the first couple years really difficult for me. I have worked since I was 15 years old and that's what I did. I went to college and had three jobs at one time before and I always worked. That's just what I did. And to go from doing that to doing nothing, I say that very, very lightly, <laughs> but um, it was a, it was a whirlwind. It really was. And I'm an only child myself, so I never even really grew up with a lot of kids in my world, you know, or babies, and it was just a brand new experience for me, and it was tough. It was really tough. Again, I found that when I found my hobby of what it is today, um, which I found closer to when he was turning three, um... It really helped me because it gave me a sense of myself back and but I still loved being able to stay at home and that was important to us as a family and I would not change it although there are days you would definitely change it <laughs> but you know that's fair right um, but yeah anyway that's a number two would you have it any other way no but I would have definitely done things a little bit differently for myself sooner because it was, it was, it was a struggle. It was, it was at postpartum probably, probably more so than I wanted to admit, um, which is awful because it's a very normal thing. And you know, I, that could be kind of a whole other video, right? Um, get help get help if you need help because there's nothing wrong with that and if you could be in a better place a lot sooner do it just do it it'll it's so worth it but anyway no I would not change it I would just do certain things differently I love the fact that this is what I get to do and you know I I feel like a stay-at-home mom is the 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 you know verbiage we use and, but beyond that, I'm also a housewife and I actually take a lot of pride in that too because 
or a homemaker, however you want to say it, you know, but there's a lot more to it than just being a mom, you know, and taking care of a child. It's, it's running a home and taking care of your spouse too. And it's important to me and I, I really do like it and I wouldn't have it any other way at this point. Um, with that said, now that I have started this, I mean, I'm not going to say it is completely a job yet, you know, um, and whether it ever becomes that or not, it's something that is my, my time and my, how I consider, it's my job right now. This is what I want to do. It's important to me and it's working with having a family and I, I enjoy that. Anyway, I'm going to get off on tangents here, <laughs> but do you co-sleep? This is a, a, a sticky one, I feel like. And I really hope I don't offend anybody in this because I truly don't have a lot of, of strong opinions on things when it comes to parenting in those things. Um, I understand a lot of different sides and why people do it a certain way. Just throwing that out there. Do we co-sleep? No. Did we co-sleep? No. Um, he was in our room in a like pack and play type thing next to our bed for one month. One month and we at that point transferred him to his crib in his room. And you know for us that worked. And it, I felt like it worked best even for him because you know it, we would wake him up, you know, if we made noise and it was just kind of, it didn't, it didn't work like for us to do that. And it wasn't something that we really did want. We wanted our time at the end of the night for ourselves. And, and you know, so, and if people don't do that, that is totally okay too. It just, again, that was what we chose and it did work for all of us. One must have gear for baby. Well, we were just talking about this the other day. Number one item, for sure, a video monitor, hands down. Video monitors are amazing. You know, it, it's for your peace of mind, you know, when they're really quiet and they're sleeping perfectly well, and you just, sometimes you need to check, make sure everything's okay, and they're fantastic. You can see them breathing, you can hear them breathing, and yeah, video monitor, 100%. 100%. How many kids do you plan on having? Well, our son was a surprise. Um, but we had talked about having a child. It was just not necessarily at the time we did. But, you know, that's the way the world goes. And... Um, I, I can't wait till when he asked one day, are you, I, was I an accident? No, you were a disaster. It's going to happen. And I'm really excited to tell him that. Kidding. We're at the stage now where he, like I said, he's five. And I feel like if we're going to do this and have another one, we need to get on that train. Because <laughs> I didn't really necessarily want this huge gap, which he, we would already have. But... As it stands now, we're probably done. We are content. We are not have, there's no void that we're feeling. And, you know, it's not something that we really ever did picture for ourselves either. We always pictured one or none, honestly. And I'm glad we have what we have. <laughs> but um, I don't feel like, it, it's not like we said we wanted a huge family ever anyway. So I think we're pretty much there. Should something happen and there's other plans in the future, sure, you know, embrace what you are given. So, um, but yeah, I'm not 100% I'm not sure, but pretty sure we are done. Date night, how many n nights or days per month? You know, I, we don't have a set Jeez, the dogs are going nuts. We do not have a set, like, time of, you know, oh, wait, we have to four times a month. We have to. No. Um, I mean, obviously, that kind of just depends, too, on availability of 
someone watching your child for you too, you know. Um, but we try for at least once or twice a month, for sure. Um, I think it's really important, and if you have that available to you for someone to have your child while you do that, whether it's a couple hours or overnight, whatever is given to you, um, appreciate it and use that time because I think it's really important to do that. It really is. And with that said, a date night in our minds can be dinner, movie, go out, do this, whatever. Or it can be simply coming home and doing nothing, but you're doing it quietly and you're still doing that together. And it's it doesn't have to be all out to me. And um, yeah, it's something we really enjoy and I think a lot everyone needs. You, you do. Gotta have that adultness brought back into our child-ridden lives, right? <laughs> Your child's favorite show, probably still Mickey, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Um, but you know, he, he, he really likes watching YouTube videos. <laughs> I know, it's weird. But uh, I'm like, well, do you watch me, kid? He's like, no, oh, okay. <laughs> but um, yeah, he likes to watch a lot of like, um, a lot of weird shows. I don't even really know what they are, half of them, but they're not on TV and I don't know but yeah Mickey Mouse otherwise probably and he likes um Jake and the the pirates name one thing you bought before you had your baby and you never ended up using oh doesn't everyone have that right um we bought a travel crib it was by Eddie Bauer and it was like a travel little crib thing and we never used that never Trying to think of other things, but I think we pretty much used everything. But of course, you're you're gonna have your favorites and things that you don't use as much as you thought you would. But yeah, I, I think that was pretty much it. I don't know. <laughs> your child's favorite food. My kid goes ape shit over quesadillas. Like really, quesadillas. I mean, they're delicious. Do not get me wrong. But cheese and tortilla. Okay. Yeah, he would eat that every day. He would. How many cars does your family have? We have two. One, one for me, one for my husband. Weight gain before pregnancy, during, and after, and now. Well, geez. Um, <laughs> um, ooh, I, I'm, I don't care telling you. I just, I did not find out I was pregnant until I was nine weeks. My, my cycle had always been off. So, to not have a period one month was not the craziest thing for me. Um, point being, that's why I didn't find out as early as some people do. But yeah, I was nine weeks when I did find out. And then I want to say I was close to like, I mean, I'll just put it out there. I, my first weigh-in was I was 173 pounds, I think. I'm pretty sure. By the end... He did come early. They induced me because my blood pressure was too high. And he was born at 36 weeks. So it wasn't, you know, wasn't super early, but still early. And by the end, I want to say I got up to like 215. I want to say that was my highest. But I was, a, I was pretty swollen and stuff too. Anyway, I think. Then after he came and you drop your initial weight from that I want to say it was like 190s I think I think and uh I struggled a lot through not being able to drop as much you know get back down but I also can look back on it and know that I didn't really try I, I mean I didn't gorge but I also didn't really try so you know it is what it is you get what you get the weight now is around the range of when I first weighed in not 100% sure but I'm around that range so with that said it I've kind of just stayed in that since he's been born does it kind of suck yeah it's kind of been a struggle could I put more effort to get where I think I want to be sure couldn't we all so you know you can't really complain about something you're not making conscious effort to, I'm going to say consistent effort 
to change. Anyway, that was a whole ordeal. Dream vacation with your kiddos. I don't really have one that is like over the top of like we want to do Disneyland and those kinds of things, but I'm, I'm trying to think of something that that's probably pretty generic, right? Yeah, Disneyland, because we have not done that with him yet. It is so expensive now, <laughs> it's crazy, and I'm fine with that, but I want him to at least be an age where I feel like he can at least remember it. So probably soon, probably soon. Dream vacation without the kiddos. So here's the dilemma. We really want to go, me and my husband, go to Bora Bora. Who doesn't, right? You see the picture and you go, yep, I want to go there. Here's the problem. I am terrified of flying. I have said this before and I will take it to my grave. I am terrified of it. And so there's no way to get there with that said. So, yeah, I might have, we, mm-hmm, no. No, it makes me, uh, no, it makes me anxious thinking about it. How has your life changed since your baby has been born? A lot. <laughs> A lot. It is not as, uh, I feel like you have to really put in the effort to try to make yourself carefree, if that makes sense. When, before you have a kid, your life is so carefree, whether you think it or not. I'm guilty of it myself. I thought I was stressed before, please. Like, it's nothing compared to, because you truly are responsible for another living human. And, you know, it's not even like an, and people would say, well, I have a lot of pets. Well, they're work and they are responsibility for sure. But you can lock their asses up when they're driving you nuts. We can do that. And with a kid, you can't really do that. Yeah, but no, it's just, it's more of the mental part versus even truly physically how your life's changed and the things you do day to day. I mean, yeah, that's different, but I got to imagine what kid or not, you, you know, your life evolves and changes anyway, but the emotional part is very, very different. It really is. What is this? Mm. And, um, but it's good. It is good. It keeps you humbled. It makes you see life very different when all the crazy crap that's out there, they keep it so simple. And that's so cool to have that like refresher every day of a, someone so simple. And I like that, but it's very different. It really is. Finish the sentence. It makes my heart melt to see. Oh, God. Um, hmm. To see his... Hmm. To see a light bulb go off for him. Like, something he's been struggling with. And, you know... He, when, when it finally clicks for him is whatever it is he's doing, whatever it is, and he gets something, he gets it. And I may do a video on it in the future, but my son has a speech delay and he's come so far with it, so far. But that's kind of what I think about more so with that question is um, in the beginning, a simple yes or no question was so hard for him. He didn't, he just didn't get it. And now that's, he's completely past that. It's just, uh, but I remember that when that happened too, of just being able to ask him, do you want this? Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> you know? And, um, but even now it's more of even more complex things. And when it just, he gets it, it's like, look at you. <laughs> so yeah, I would say that. But we'll see. I might do a video on our experience with that. I think it could be helpful for other people. Um, but yeah, it's it's not something that's very emotional for me now because it, it's it been something going on for a while and he's progressed so much that it's not really so much an issue anymore. It's more of just 
Anyway, it, it's just, uh, we'll see, we'll see. I may do something on that, we'll see. Where do you shop for your kids? I remember when he was first born, we were all about that Gymboree life. Oh my goodness, we did. Their stuff's good, and it's, you know, it's a little pricey, but, like, it lasts. The quality is really good. Um, but as he's gotten older, Target, Toys R Us, Babies R Us, um, yeah, Old Navy. Old Navy's a good one. But, yeah, pretty much those. It's crazy. He's not even in, like, baby clothes at all anymore. I mean, he's five. I guess that's normal, right? But even the toddler sizes, no. He's in, like, boys. Best part about being a mom. Again, I think it is just the humbling part of, you know, he, he keeps it simple. And... I like when he challenges me because I'm so bullheaded by nature. Um, and, you know, the joke always is, wait till your kid gives it back to you. And it's like, I look forward to that. And even when he does it now, I'm like, ah, oh, look at you, you know. And as much as in the moment, it's like, mm-mm. But I love it. I love seeing this little person with an attitude and a a, I did not say disrespectful, <laughs> that's different, but opinionated and means it and you, you helped create that, you know, and I want a kid, I want my kid to be who he is and whatever that looks like for him and not be afraid to say something because society says that's bad and Whatever it is, whatever it is. So that's the best part is being able to encourage individuality and help that along, whatever that looks like, whatever he wants to do. You know, I want to be able to help him do that. Yeah, it's kind of simple. It's really simple and it, it works. It's cool. It's cool. Yeah. That is all the questions. That was different. That was different for me. Uh, like I said, I may do a video on our experience with having a child that has a speech delay or had and um, just to give other people insight to it and what that looks like and what it can look like and there's hope and there's it's not it's not that bad, meaning sometimes I remember coming down on ourselves a little bit, like what did we do wrong and what? why does he have to do that? Why does he have to go through that? And you realize, you look at that and you go, shut it, shut it, because there are so many people, unfortunately, that have to go through things that are so much worse and sometimes things that can't be fixed and turned around and helped and it's awful and it's it, it keeps it very much a I think of that a lot like if I do feel sad about it or whatever it is I'm like we're we we are very fortunate we are and but still it it does come with its own hardship sometimes and um, like I said it could be maybe helpful to other people that are going through that too but yeah we'll see we'll see anyway guys yes I am a mom damnedest thing never knew that would really happen for me but it did and I love that little guy and if you ever hear us say Scooty or Pooter don't ask but those have been his uh, nicknames since he's been in the womb is what it is. In fact, when I gave birth, this is my Tiffany's bracelet, and when I gave birth to him, my present was the crown on here. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but it's a little charm that I added to this, and it's, you know, it resembled two things for me. Um, one, me being the queen of the house, and he was my little prince. You know, and then <laughs> this is cute. I have this little charm that's a little scooter, and people would be like, "Why do you have that?" <laughs> and I get it's kind of like, yeah, why? Why would someone really have that, right? 
But for us, it resembled Scooty. You know, he's a scooter. I don't know why that started. I have no idea. But that was the nickname he was given from 12 weeks in my belly. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this. Change it up a little bit from time to time. And if you're a mom, I'm sure you can relate to much of this. And if you're not a mom, that's okay too. <laughs> um, hope you guys have a great day and I will see you guys very, very soon. Thanks for watching.